This video will be the first in a series on the channel. I have seen the Tang Man picture so many times, but I'm ashamed to admit I didn't actually know a great deal about it. So, this series will be dedicated to giving the backstories to the dark pictures in history. Some of them will be photographs that helped change the world, and hopefully we can give the context to the pictures so they won't be forgotten. Tank Man is perhaps one of the most recognisable photos taken during the 20th century. On the 5th of June in 1989, the column of tanks was leaving Tenement Square following suppression of student protests. It is taken to be the very embodiment of dissent and protest. The power of one man standing up for what is right. One man versus the Chinese state. But what is the story behind this photograph? People became sceptical about the authoritarian one-party system. These protests were largely focused on the democratic reforms and a more open state following the death of leading pro-democracy party secretary Hu Yaobang. He passed away on the 15th of April 1989. He was largely seen as the champion of the young people against the old and corrupt men of the Communist Party. His death was attributed to the government due to the stresses put upon him in attempts to silence and sideline. The protests were largely centred around Tenement Square, with hunger strikes and demonstrations involving as many as 100,000 students. With no clear resolution, the Chinese government, despite foreign intervention and a televised debate, declared martial law on the 30th of May 1989. 250,000 soldiers were dispatched to the capital, treating the protesters as terrorists and counter-revolutionaries. They were given orders to clear the square with any means necessary. With automatic guns, armoured transports and tanks, the square was cleared as the Chinese army fired wildly on their own citizens. Even ambulance drivers that tried to attend the injured were shot. Protesters responded with Molotov cocktails to fight back, but they were crushed by the armoured vehicles and shot to death as they attempted to flee. The official death toll from the Chinese Communist Party is around 300 dead, including soldiers. But independent estimations range from 1,000 to 10,000 dead, and many more injured as a result. Brave media correspondents from all around the world came and captured the horrors unfold. One BBC journalist was near the front line when they opened fire. As she ran, she witnessed someone being shot right in front of her eyes. As she attempted to flee, she fell over his body. Against this backdrop is where we find Tank Man. On the 5th of June 1989, armed with only what appeared to be two bags of shopping, Tank Man boldly stood in the road, in front of the oncoming tank column. The tanks one by one stopped as the man stood still in their direct path. When the lead tank attempted to drive around, Tank Man merely stepped to the left, blocking the tank again and again. Without warning, Tank Man then climbs onto the tank, peering into the top hatch, before appearing to lean inside. After a chat with the tank commander, he jumps off of the tank and steps to the side. As the lead tank again builds up speed, he steps again back in front, bringing it to another stop. This time, the tank commander appears from his tank, and they have another chat. Other apparent protesters join the man and indicate their peaceful intentions, hands raised. They beckon tank man away to his unknown fate. His legacy is still a potential thorn, even recently with censorship issues. Most recently, with the Bing search engine blocking pictures, videos, and even the phrase Tank Man on the 32nd anniversary of the Tenement Square crackdown. The protests and strikes at Tenement Square, with the subsequent violent crackdown, are perfectly summarized in the Tank Man photos and videos. The power of individual protest in a perfect, almost two on the nose depiction of what happened. As is often the case, the story behind the photo is much more complicated. The thousands of lives claimed by the army, shot down or crushed by armoured personnel carriers, were not as lucky as Tankman, nor 
with the workers executed for showing their support, or the students that were locked up for as long as seven years. Perhaps it speaks to it being easier to crush or gun down large groups of people as opposed to one man. Like the old quote, the death of one man is a tragedy, the death of millions is a statistic. Perhaps the soldiers in the tank that day had sympathy for the protest. Perhaps tank man caught them on a good day. The tank man photos and films are perhaps so interesting due to the mystery and anonymity. We know more about the protest leading up to the man vs tank showdown than we do about the individuals involved. A microcosm of the protest, a poignant act of bravery and individual defiance against the state. Despite being widely seen around the world, there is no definitive identity for Tankman, nor his fate confirmed. The CCP insists they do not know his identity, nor what happened to him. Some speculate he was executed by firing squad shortly after, whilst others believe he made his way to Taiwan and became an archaeologist. Either way, his role in our collective history is an important one. One hopes he managed to survive and live a happy life and did not join the many who were murdered by the state for mere protest. <laughs>